Hello and welcome to another Technology Thursday presented by the Livingston Parish Library. If you are new to the series, we are so glad you joined us. Our Technology Thursday videos feature quick step-by-step -step demos of various free digital resources our library offers to our patrons. Today, we will be going over how to use EBSCO's Home Improvement Resource Center. This resource is designed to assist homeowners in do-it-yourself home repair, maintenance, and remodeling projects. There are thousands of step-by-step -step projects, articles, and reference books. To get to this digital resource, you will first need to go to our library's website. In your web browser's address bar, type in www.mylpl.info. That's www.mylpl.info. Select Research from the top right of the web page. This will bring you to a list of all the digital resources our library subscribes to and are available free to use to our patrons. If you know a database you are looking for, you can type it in on the search bar on the left. Or you can use the categories to the right to select Do It Yourself to see all items in this category. The Home Improvement Reference Center is the third listing, and under the link is a short description on the resource. It also tells you what you need to access this database. If you are accessing this database from outside the library, you might need your library card to log into this resource. Because this resource is offered to us by the State Library, we are now directed to the Louisiana State Library's list of databases. You will now have to find our database link again. Scroll down until you find Home Improvement Reference Center and select the link. If you are at home, you may now need to enter in your library card number and select Sign In. Alright, so we have a few things to note here on the home page. At the top look is a search bar that we can use to search for specific items. In the middle, we have a Browse by Category section. At the top right, you have your toolbox, which contains some shortcut links to useful articles and tools. And underneath the toolbox is the Project Spotlight, which features rotating projects. Let's first go over the toolbox feature. We have these categories in the toolbox. How-to videos, conversion charts, glossary of terms, homeowner's journal, and working with contractors. Select How-To Videos. This brings you to a list of all the how-to video series this resource has. There are 97 video series available. Select the video on the list. Videos require Flash Player, so you may need to give a permission to play the videos. This video set is nine videos long. Each section has a brief, description next to the video. Let's go back to explore other items in the toolbox. Select New Search above the search bar. This will bring you back to the home page. Now let's look at conversion charts. Select conversion charts. This brings you to a PDF document with a multitude of common conversions used in construction. All PDFs in this resource can be printed out by selecting the printer icon at the top of the document. Let's go back to explore other items in the toolbox. When you are viewing a PDF document, you will need to select the back button at the top of the page to get back to the home page. Now let's look at the Glossary of Terms. Select Glossary of Terms. This brings you to a PDF document that lists common terms used to describe parts of a structure. Now we'll go back to explore other items in the toolbox. Remember, when you're viewing a PDF document, you will need to select the back button at the top of the page to get back to the home page. Next, let's look at the Homeowner's Journal. This is a PDF for you to print out and fill out with all the information about your home from addresses to purchase information to materials your home was made out of. This is for you to keep for your own reference. You can list dates and how you made repairs to your home. It can be invaluable to have this information readily available to you at a moment's notice. Now we'll go back to explore the last item in the toolbox. Finally, let's look at the Working with Contractors option. 
This is a one-page PDF with some tips on how to find a reputable contractor and the steps you will need to take to employ the right one. Let's go back to explore the other sections on the homepage. Now let's look at the Browse by Category section on the homepage. This database is giving you some quick categories you can browse through or you can select A to Z to search through them all. Let's select A to Z top. This brings you to a page where you can select each letter of the alphabet to see all the topics that start with that letter. I select A. A drop-down list of topics appear with quick links to documents to start with letter A. I'm going to go ahead and select the first option of above cabinet lighting installing. It brings me to an illustrated guide on the subject. Now I'll go back by selecting the back button. Going through the other categories is the same process. Say you want to look at guides on woodworking. Select woodworking and then narrow down your topic. Let's choose pet projects, then birdhouses. I'm then brought to a illustrated guide on building a birdhouse. Now we'll go back and go over how to conduct a search from the home page. Let's say I want to build a birdhouse, but not the one that was in the categories quick link. On the home page, type in birdhouse in the search bar and then select search. This brings up over 240 search results. I can narrow my search results by using the filters on the left side of the page. Let's select limit to full text. This ensures that we only see documents that contain a complete article and not just a summary. You can also limit by year and source type if you want to only look at articles from a specific source, for example, a magazine or a book. Let's filter our results by magazine. This narrows our results down to 177 different articles. If you see a result that has an HTML full text option, this will bring up the text and images of the article and web page instead of a PDF document. One of the benefits of this is the ability to listen to the article. And select the HTML full text option for the article swallows. If you build it, they will come. Under the title of the new page, there is a player that will read the article to you with different accents to choose from. You can also edit the reader speaker options by selecting the gear. So you can have the reader speed up or slow down, change the highlighted text color, and much more. Well, that about wraps up our introduction to the Digital Resource Home Improvement Reference Center. We hope you learned something valuable, and if you have any questions about this resource or any of our other digital resources, please contact your local library. Thank you so much for joining us today.